This episode of App Judgment is brought to you by Netflix. Hey, it's Annie, and welcome to App Judgment, your source for mobile app news and reviews from Revision 3. As part of my continuing series where I report from my cubicle on events that I'm not actually attending, this week was South by Southwest, the music, film, interactive festival where many people with questionable haircuts gather to strum guitars, collect wristbands, and push their own brands. While the rest of us sit at our desks and try our best to ignore their hashtagging and blurry pictures of Bruce Springsteen. But nonetheless, it's always interesting to see what comes out of the interactive component, which is where a lot of tech companies come to debut their new products. So when I noticed a bunch of random spam tweets in my feed for a service called Banjo, I knew it had to be one of those companies. I want you to have social superpowers. Wow, I'm so flattered that you cared enough to send me this personal tweet, but what is Banjo really? It's a new service that allows you to be anywhere in real time, know when friends are near, and see who's talking about the things you love. Ooh. So basically how it works is you sign in with Twitter, Facebook, or Foursquare, or all three, you instantly start getting friend alerts, which tell you who of your friends are near you. So say you have a friend who comes into town and doesn't tell you, boom, exposed. You can also see where all these people are on a map. Click on them to see more about them and what other networks you can use to connect with them. This is basically a dream app for anyone with a mild to moderate stalking problem, which is to say, all of us. The constant barrage of alerts make it addicting, but as of now, each of its portals within the app, Explore, People, Friend Alerts, present the same information, but in a different display. So what do you guys think about Banjo? Have you been getting the same spam tweets that I've been getting? Have you been persuaded to download it yet? And if so, what do you think? Or do you prefer real life banjos, like some of us do? Either way, let me know down below in the comments. I've got one more story for you, but first let's thank Netflix. Netflix streams TV episodes and movies directly to your home, saving you time and money. Instantly watch unlimited TV episodes and movies streaming directly to your PC, Mac, or right to your TV with your PS3, your Xbox 360, or your Nintendo Wii console. For a limited time, you can get a free trial membership if you go to netflix.com slash AJ and sign up now. Oh, and great news for those of you in the UK or Ireland, Netflix is now available there too. And if you go to the URLs below, you can get the same free trial. So check it out now. Finally, an update regarding an app that we covered a few months back, Oink, which is a ratings-based service for evaluating and sharing anything from burgers to, well, pretty much anything you can ever spend money on. This week it was announced that Oink, the first project from Kevin Rose's incubator, Milk, will be shutting its doors on March 31st. Kevin also announced on Google Plus this morning that Milk will be dismantling and basically absorbed into Google. Users of Oink can, however, download all of their ratings and pictures prior to March 31st to retain all of your info on that service. Nonetheless, it was a good run with a reported user base of over 150,000 plus. Um, and it just goes to show you how difficult it can be to launch a new social service. So in light of that, I'm curious to hear what your ideal social network would do. Technological issues aside, all those barriers, put those out of your mind and think big. I wanna hear what problem in your life your ideal network would solve. Let me know in the comments. Or you can find me on Twitter at Annie Gauss, and you can also find the show on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, here on YouTube, or on our homepage at revision3.com slash appjudgment. I'll see you next week.